Hello everybody, welcome to um, the replay of Rick's uh, quarterfinal match, Rick's Amazons versus Crucifer's Chaufs. So yeah, this is probably going to be pretty horrific for Rick. And he's got Roxana on the field and a wizard and two bibs and a bribe. But in the booth, I've got Fymir. Hello. Hello Dave. And this is going to be rough. It's like the Death Star versus the Smurfs. <laughs> yeah. like, Rick has the Ewoks, but they won, didn't they? So, you know. Yeah, but people seem to forget that lots of them died. <laughs> and nobody gave them any reward or any planet or anything. <laughs> oh, I think uh, Roxanne is a very good choice, and I think that movement there for uh, Crucifer proves that Crucifer is in love. <laughs> oh, there's a cast. Why has he put this bow here? Because, because it's got stand firm and he doesn't know that Roxanne, uh, Roxanne yes, has got Juggernaut. Roxanne has frenzy Juggernaut. Okay, he's blitzing this one, but this one's got Fen, so he can't cover it. Oh, Cruz. He hasn't got guard anyway. Cruz, you fucking moron. <laughs> out of form here. <laughs> but in the quarterfinals of the cup with a, a fan favorite player, just casually. Cruz, you fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> no offence, but yeah, that's terrible. There you go. Oh, wow, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Art. Amazing. Already mean in the dimmy. That was terrible, though, wasn't it? I mean, especially from Cruz, right? Oh, wow, and a Kaz? Holy shit. Like, especially from Cruz. If, like, somebody, you know, one of Rick's opponents on the ladder did it, you'd be like... Oh, Rick, how do you get these people? <laughs> but Cruz. Hey, we're gonna that. watch a Rick miracle here. Why did Cruz? Two players up for Rick. Why did Cruz do that? Holy shit! Got a follow. -up. Oh, I guess he got this one. Okay. But he should have pushed it to here, right? So that if this is a push, he's not giving up a block. Doesn't matter. He'll just roll the power anyway. Classic Rick. And then follow. I mean, okay. I get, I get the idea of this is to, uh, is to try and high roll as much as possible. I mean, I, yes. I hate TV the difference. TV I foul, the TV difference was like seven hundred. Yeah. Right. But he's already high rolled because he's already, he's already surfed one and cast one, so I don't think he needed the double GFI to foul. I think he just wasted a reroll there, to be honest. Nope. There's the cheeky cars. I don't know if that was worth an up or not. It's a fist an up. Or... Um... But there are not many players with uh, skills in uh, Rick's team. Yeah. Oh, I've just realised I'm. Uh... I have enough cutscenes on. I haven't realised in all of these. That was about as good a turn one as Rick as it could have gotten, yeah. Cruz completely, completely ignorant to the fact that <laughs> Roxana had Roxana good enough. has a... That's what happens when you stop playing Blood Bowl for seven hours per day, for every day. Yeah. I mean, it's easy done, isn't it, I guess, but... Just Roxana can cause a lot of problems. AG5, leap, jump up. Yeah. Just didn't expect it from Chris, that's all. <laughs> I really am, that's amazing. Yeah, see, look, Rick's being too dicey here, like... Nah, he shouldn't, he's... I hate this one, to be honest. Like, he got the look. He literally got the look. 
He got the he got the he got the brain fart and then the Randor cars. And he's still like pushing his luck to the to death. And he's just wasted two rerolls essentially that he just didn't need to use. <laughs> that uh, a proper ball bitch with sure hands. <laughs> yeah. Still, uh, this team still has a standard. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he uh, he's, uh, he's, he hasn't played that much for a while, has he? To be fair, like he's he's been. I think this is the the only team or the second team that he's played because the bull with the fan favorite is there. Yeah. Yeah. So he didn't really. Really try that hard, gets the foul because, of course, he's going to foul that guy. That was just terrible from Rick. That was that was genuine. That was terrible. a very oh, this is terrible as well. Oh, Rick. <laughs> well, okay, he's, he's got a great result out of it, to be fair. But I think we're going to see uh, Roxana play here. I mean, he got insanely lucky getting three knockdowns from that. I think he just got it in his head at the start of the game. I've got to be really lucky to win this. And then he's just... Uh, he's just kept up with it, you know. Instead of adapting to the actual board state. <laughs> Which was... Chris brain farted and then he got lucky. Oh, there you go. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, oh God. <laughs> and now he's, because he's only got one reroll left, he couldn't try to loan a reroll it. And then he died. <laughs> oh. yeah. Well. That's all the nearly all the inducements from uh, Rick Gold. Well, I mean, that was unlucky, wasn't it? But, uh... Yeah, it was I mean, Dying like that. Even uh, without breaking armor, it would be a nice because he has jump up. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, you probably still do reroll that, yeah. You're right. You're right. I right, you probably should have done. You're right, you probably should have tried to reroll it. I mean, obviously, if it didn't have Lona, you would have definitely rerolled it. You would have definitely rerolled it. But using your last reroll in a 50 50 to even get the reroll, it's hard. I can see why he didn't do it. But he shouldn't oh, have been was... down to one reroll, should he? You know, that's the thing. He shouldn't have been down to one reroll. No reason for it, I think. I think that's what happened. He had the right idea at the start, but then he just didn't adapt to the actual situation. And now he uses the last reroll. <laughs> yeah. Which was just to get a hit on the ball. Not to not to get away and win the game. Yeah, but once you've, okay. you've committed your wizard to it, you commit your reroll, don't you? Like it's yeah, he had to reroll it. He did. Ha he did have to reroll the box on I think. And he would have had to reroll. Yeah, I think if you go with that, you go all in. Whatever happens, happens. This, this is it. This is. But maybe he shouldn't have gone for the box on a turn, and maybe he shouldn't have uh, been on one reroll. And... I might still get the stop out of this half. To be fair. Because this is like not easy for Cruz, is it? Like the, there's players on the field still. There's still some zones around. Not that many. Okay, one less. <laughs> the tackle. Yeah, apple. I think that's a fair apple because he's already taken three. Cards. Yes. Now that now that he doesn't have to worry about the wizard anymore, it's uh, it's got a lot easier for Cruz, hasn't it? Oh, is that the uh, or far good down? We have a very good chance for uh, Rick having a shot at the ball. <laughs> yeah, that stand firm has been gold dust. 
Oh, tries a five plus dodge and fails and, and dies. <laughs> that's why that bull is the fan favorite. What a play. What a play. <laughs> oh, God. And now he just gets. Well deserved the plus one fame there. Oh, Jesus man. Christ. What a punishment. Yeah. Yeah. I guess to pom it. He might not pile. I think he probably will, but he might not. Cruz is quite conservative, you know, he doesn't. Sensible player from Cruz. That's very good, any. Another one gone. Well, at least he has two vapes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got all the inducements he could put for, really. Makes him make a GFI at least. Not dead. Mm -hmm. Results for Rick. Oh, hey. <laughs> Got a, mm, he doesn't want to hit him, does he? So he, but he'd like to three dice him, obviously. But then he doesn't want to push the sidestepper into contact as well. So yeah, he's going to 2D hit him. Doesn't re roll. But Rick doesn't sidestep there. Why does he step on the wall? I don't know. Weird. Oh, there you go. Chris just dodges and GFIs anyway. I'm surprised Chris didn't reroll the 2D, but I mean, I would have punched him first. Because you get another hit with Mighty Blow and, like, with Tackle anyway, and then you can get a 3D on that guy. But anyway, he's dodged his GFI and it's 1 0 at half time to Chris. And yeah, I mean, this is always going to be hard for Rick. Got no players left already. And, uh, Maybe he was worried, Lemon, that you'd to give up a three dice block with Paul. <laughs> Which has happened anyway. <laughs> King keeps working. <laughs> no, he didn't have a down tackle, but he could have still based it anyway just to make it based right? By that point he didn't have he didn't have a player for the chain. So he couldn't have he couldn't have filled in all the squares and changed him forward anyway. So. I think he should have put another extra gun in contact. Not that it really mattered, but I think he should have done. No, maybe he shouldn't have. Maybe he didn't have. I, I don't care, to be honest. <laughs> it's over, isn't it? It's over by doing those GFIs, the pointless GFIs that he did that used rerolls. And then the crucial Roxana play that didn't use a reroll. And I mean, to be fair, the look definitely went back to... The, the look definitely swung to Cruz after the first turn. And whatever you say, that's a lot of cards. But... Still, despite all these cards, Rick could have been 1-0 up, potentially. But he's still probably just going to lose, even if he was 1-0 up. <laughs> With seven players left. I like that Rick had a had a warm up game. Um, I like that Rick had a warm up game against Elliot, and it was like one cars each. And I thought that's not going to be how the real game goes, <laughs> and it wasn't. 
Yeah, he got his pommer removed for no reason. Like that was that was on Rick to be fair, getting the pommer removed. I just, he just I think he did just play two balls to the wall. Which sounds stupid when you look at the disparity in teams, but I mean well maybe not, of course, it's just my opinion. But the first turn was so good, wasn't it? Putting them down and now. I think he was a little carried away there. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yes, Artemis, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and that's kind of normal as well, isn't it? You know, like people are like, rah, 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 I've got to do this, and then like, their ass falls out a bit. And who knows, maybe maybe he went balls to the wall the whole game against Elliot in the practice game. It, maybe it, well, it did work out because it was 1 1. And the team left, so maybe he just thought, I just go balls out all the time. But. I mean, there wasn't much he could have done in the end. And it's not really a dicing, is it, for, for Chorf to do this to Amazons, isn't a dicing? Especially <laughs> like, the uh, Rick Killy himself to his players. Yeah. Like it's brutal. It's brutal to have taken five cards. But it's it because it's Chorf versus Zones, it doesn't have to be a dicing for this to happen. <laughs> Especially with more than a five hundred. Yeah, huge, huge disparity in D V. Okay, the fall is right. Yes, now he needs a miracle. Thanks for the raid. Gloria Stor, baby. Thank you very much. Glorious raid. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right. Hello. <laughs> The, the team getting obliterated. Yeah, it's just really waiting for it to end now, isn't it? You can chain this guy forward, can't you? Uh, probably two or three, even maybe even three squares here. This will be interesting. This should be an interesting turn. See how far we can chain him forward. Oh, this one's stand firm. Well, he's already fucked it there. <laughs> oh, not not that interesting then. <laughs> oh, cast. If you can't push him, casting him seems good. Oh, now he now he can push into there and get him one square foot. Oh, he'd already moved. Ah, oh, well, in that case, just chain didn't matter. Oh, did no? Did he punch with this one? If he hadn't punched yes. him, he could have chained him forward. And then he could have blitzed the. Uh, he could have blitzed this. I guess he doesn't have to blitz it now. But... 
I think could have double one, couldn't we? So I guess. I would have liked to have doubled. I, I'm sure he could have doubled. He could have at least chained him one anyway. And probably could have double chained him and then hit the, hit the ball. That's what I would have liked to have done. It was the miracle play that... <laughs> almost, almost passes it to the chops. <laughs> Another Kaz. <laughs> there is not uh, much to say here. This is what a professional uh, coach that knows that Rick has two babes. <laughs> so he has cast everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Nine Kaz. You can completely cage the ball up before he even goes to pick it up. Disgusting. He's not good either, though, is he? Surprised that he didn't just like totally. I thought he'd have been very careful with uh, protecting the ball. Like, I know it doesn't really matter. But still. I mean, it's really safe when it, for where it was going to be. But I would have... I would have made it safe where it was in case I failed to pick up, I think. Congrats to Cruz anyway. Commiserations to Rick. Yes, yes, I. Just going through the motions now, isn't it? It's 100%. Yep. So. Now it's just a pastan and all that, and choose a turf to score with. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, Cruz in the semi final. And we're about to see who he's. Who is going to be playing in the semi final? <laughs> no, I think even Rick would be uh, giving up hope of the 3 2 win right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe they throw, you know, maybe a throw. Then I want done. Flip me, guys, we're going to have to settle for the draw here. <laughs> <laughs> Even Rick, I think, is going to have to settle for the draw at this point. <laughs> Trying to score on the edge one, gets it. We're well, hey. Fine to not get mighty blow hit. <laughs> or I guess just for fun because it's all. <laughs> well, that was the massacre that everybody was expecting, eh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it was always. It was always a massive place to Yeah, Rick was. The worst matchup ever. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Chorves are even worse than dwarves uh, for winning for zones. So there you go. Because at least at least they're faster than dwarves, but they're not even faster than chorves. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's a brutal, brutal matchup and down so much TV. Um, he was very lucky that Chris made that mistake. That made it a game of it for half, didn't it? Well, 
fact that he uh, suffered one uh, bull uh, from... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was just a, it, I mean, it was just a massive mistake from Chris, wasn't it? That let that bull get surfed. But um, and that did certainly make the first half interesting. Why did Chris? I guess just so that he just definitely scores. I guess. Like if, I don't, I don't know where Rick's players were. But maybe he thought he'd get more hits this way or something. I don't know. Maybe he thought he was already done at 16. Yeah. Another dead, yes, actually. I mean, it doesn't really matter. The, uh, the, the thing is, it doesn't matter when he scores. So maybe he just thought, screw it. I guess he is getting Hobgoblin's Goblin's pond. Maybe he thought he'd get a uh, chalk blocker pond if he didn't score, and he'd rather get a he'd rather get a Hobgoblin pond than a chalk blocker. But yeah, you would have thought he would have sold it out because I mean he had to use his apple there. So yeah, I don't know. I don't really know why he uh, scored early. Stop paying attention, to be honest. Uh, yes. Fantastic MVPs to do the players. Yeah, <laughs> amazing, <laughs> amazing MVPs. And yeah, another... sixteen armor breaks. And <laughs> yeah, sixteen AV breaks into like how many cars? Eleven cars, and that's and three KOs. So he made two stuns, three KOs, and eleven cars. That's unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> that is. I mean, that is definitely a dicing on that front, but uh, obviously at some point it stopped mattering, but uh, yeah, wow. Well, congrats, Cruz. Commiserations, Rick. Thank you very much, Faimir, for the core commentary. Thanks for having me here. Glorious. Well, thank you so much, and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.